So how does a living cell establish a voltage difference across its cell membrane? So the transmembrane protein in its original shape has the capacity to pick up three sodium ions. When this happens, then a molecule of ATP will release a phosphate group turning into a molecule of ADP and this will then allow the protein to change its three-dimensional shape. As it changes its three-dimensional shape, the three sodium ions will then leave their location within this protein and now the affinity for the protein is no longer for sodium but for potassium ions. Only two potassium ions though fit in the slots available in the protein. Now the phosphorus leaves the protein, the three-dimensional cha shape changes again to what it was originally, the two potassium ions are then released inside of the cell and the whole process is again repeated. So we have three sodium ions. The protein will again be phosphorylated, changes its shape, the three sodium ions abandon the cell going externally and now the potassium ions will be picked up and they're going to be released inside of the cell. Because three sodium ions are pumped out of the cell versus two potassium ions being pumped inside of the cell, this establishes a three to two ratio. That means that if we have pumped out 12 sodium ions, we have only pumped in eight. Eventually, if this is done millions of times, then the membrane potential is generated by accumulating an enormous amount of positive ions outside of the cell compared to those inside. That will establish a charge across the membrane.